how are we going to talk about it? What are we going to learn about today? We're going to learn about great writers today. Because the more readers understand how great writers work, the better not only is your writing going to be, because you can learn a lot from great writers, not only is your writing going to be better, your reading is going to be better. We are going to talk about great writers in nonfiction. Because great writers in fiction, they do some things different than great writers in nonfiction. And the reason I picked nonfiction is because, I don't even know if you know that, know this. See that whole chart? See that whole um, cart right there? Yeah. That is not just nonfiction. These are brand new. I can even smell the newness. The brand new nonfiction books. And it would be terrible if you have all these brand new nonfiction books and you couldn't read them in the best, smartest way possible. So I thought we could talk about what writers do and how they do their work in making good nonfiction so that when you see it, you, you can understand it, but you can also appreciate it. Here's what I thought when I was your age. Because I was a pretty good reader, but I didn't really understand writers. I thought that a nonfiction book was just a book with a bunch of facts inside. I thought that when <coughs> Seymour Simon, he's the writer of this book, and Fran Lansing is the writer of this book, and Kay Jackson is the writer of this book. I thought all they did was just take a bunch of facts about deserts, sort of throw them in the book, shut the covers, put a couple pictures in, and there you go. I didn't know they thought a lot about their work. I didn't know that they worked very hard to tell you something important about their topic. How many of you thought the same thing, that nonfiction writing was a bunch of facts. It wasn't about writer's message. It wasn't about what the writer wanted to say. It was just a bunch of facts about the topic. Just turn to someone next to you. Have, have you ever thought that, too? Did you thought when you just opened a book, was it a bunch of facts, or was it something that the writer was saying when those facts were there on purpose? What are you thinking <coughs> when you see nonfiction? What do you think? What did you understand? How many of you, give me a thumbs up, how many of you thought nonfiction was a bunch of facts inside the book? Just like me. Well, you are going to learn something that it is so much bigger and more important than a bunch of facts. I'm going to share with you a new vocabulary word that <coughs> is very important that you understand when you're thinking about reading and writing. And the word is Construction. The word is construction. Now, you know about file folders, don't you? You know about schema? Yeah. I want you to get in your file folder about construction and think about what you know about construction. That word construction or constructing something. What do you know about that word? Do you know anything? Have you heard that word before? Okay. If you know something about that word, whisper it to someone next to you because maybe that will remind you of something you did know. Anything you know when I say that word construction? Anything. Okay, who thinks they know something? Who has something you have five about that word? Yes. Oh, that it's like building. <gasps> I'm going to write that down. It's about building something. So what does it take to build something? You need what? You need a worker, don't you? It's work. You don't just throw things together. Construction involves building something, working to build something. I'm going to put worker and working. Anything else that you need to know and do in construction? Yes. You have to have tools. And you have to have tools. All right. Now, this is what <coughs> writers do. This is what writers do. I'm going to show you with some blocks because we're going to pretend 
that these are our tools. When a writer sits down to write nonfiction, they don't just throw a bunch of facts and words in it. They do exactly what it takes if you were building a building or you were building a structure with these Legos. The very first thing they think about is what are they going to make? What are they going to build? Once they decide what they're going to build, they have to think about what tools am I going to need to build? How am I going to take all these pieces and how am I going to put them together so it makes something? That's what writers do. Just like these blocks are the tools that a builder uses, words are tools that writers use. And so every word inside this book, where did my books go? Every word inside this book is carefully thought about, is carefully selected, and the writer works very hard on putting it together piece by piece by piece. So when it's done, it says something. It makes something. It fits together. That's what I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to share with you how important it is to think about how the words are fitting together, how the ideas are fitting together. Because writers work very carefully to do that. When the words don't fit together well, when the writer can't construct the message very well, it's hard for the reader to understand. I'm gonna show you, because that happened to me. 